you hear me? All right, you can hear me. I can uh, hear you just fine. What is the name you would like me to put up, and what are your pronouns? Uh, S3RIOS, uh, so just my Discord name, and then pronouns or any all. I don't care. Okay, any all. A a based. Mm -hmm. Based any all are in here. All right, let's yeah. get you up on here. All right, so uh, I'm, I, I'm going to uh, say that your first part seems to be you're trying to draw, like you're trying to sort of tease out where I draw the line between like a tool and a uh and like uh like uh, like an automated process or like where where the machine becomes uh too much that i don't consider it art or whatever and the answer is i don't think there's a hard line i think i would i think it would be very difficult to find a hard line for that but i think that um i think that you can analyze various situations and come to reasonable conclusions without having to have like a, a universal hard line as to where uh, a tool ends and a like machinic process begins I don't think that like uh, if you are an amputee uh, with with voice activated arms and you use that to create a painting, I don't think that that is the same thing as just sort of typing a prompt into a computer and letting that computer parse through every image that it can find and then try and sort of please you with the result. Well, okay. So the thing is though, is that if what you're hoping for is like a process of doing art and not just uh I guess, like, typing in the words. Uh, rarely do people just type in the words and just take the first image, right? Like, um, a lot of art, at least... Okay, so I I, I do art, quote-unquote, in that I create, uh, <laughs> I create things in other games, right? So I make Minecraft maps, I do Geometry Dash levels. That, awesome. I consider that sure. art, right? But Yeah, I um, agree. But, you know, when I'm doing that kind of stuff, a lot of what I have to do is I just have to iterate. Like, I just have to try something and see what it ends up looking like or what it ends up feeling like. And, you know, it, sometimes I don't have any direct idea of what it's going to do. Sometimes I do, but sometimes I don't. And I just kind of, like, try different things until I get a result that I'm satisfied with. Uh, sure. Why would that... Why is that different for AI art just because it's, like, easier? Because, like, if I'm if I'm, like tweaking the prompt to get something out of it that i want like why is that necessarily uh like why isn't that art if i do that i mean okay wait so well, wait why isn't ai art uh sorry i was just confused were you saying that that minecraft or whatever that you were working in is not art because i would agree that no. the process of you tweaking something to get it to look just right in minecraft is like a step is multiple steps above like we're talking about, about an ai even if you do uh, uh the, the like modern type of ai art uh even if you uh, are doing multiple iterations and the reason why i would say that is because uh, what you're describing in your process of getting the perfect look and feel out of your um, out of your Minecraft sprite or whatever it is that you're creating yourself, um, not only is there not only is there like you are you are the one creating that sprite in the first place. You are putting the pieces together. However many tools you need to use to to get to that point, that is you you have an intentionality. There's something you're going, you're trying to create there, um, and that is directly influencing. Even if you have to iterate and practice your that that is absolutely there's an intentionality there you were also Wait, well, creating, hold on can i ask you're also creating hold on well, i gotta finish first you also are creating a context which is one of the other things that i think that makes up art um ai art um has extremely minimal con uh context now if you say like hey i made this cool art and i'm gonna post it on my twitter and go whoa this is the cool thing i made with the ai art thing you are there is some context there you know somebody can ask you um, oh, what did you type in to make this happen? And then you can tell them that. Um, but that's extremely minimal, isn't it? Um, even if you had to type it in multiple times, even if you spent 1.5 hours, wow, um, typing in different prompts until you got the thing that looked right, what you're c comparing that to something that's, that you do in Minecraft, uh, not just a matter of time, but as a matter of what is what you are what you are actually putting into it. The level of creativity, the level of intent that you are putting into that is significantly different. That is the shit that I would call context, which is if I ask you, if I see a really cool uh, Minecraft sprite, and I'm like, damn, that's really interesting. I can't quite make out what this one texture is. I'm gonna message the artist. Hey, what is this? I like this. What is it supposed to be? Where did it come from? You can tell a story from that. That is hyper minimal in AI art. 
while there's of course ex some exceptions to this rule, I would say the bulk of, of AI art is uh, is not just, it's not about whether it's easy, it's just that it is, it, it's ephemeral. It disappears immediately, it's discarded. And the only real context and history that you can point to that goes into the, uh, into that art is saying, I type this into the box, and then I type this into the box, and then I type this into the box. Uh, I, Does that make sense? I don't see why that's a bad thing, though. Like, why is okay. it bad that you can just, uh, that all you have to say for yourself is that you typed it in, if that's repeatable? Uh, like, and also, it exists in the context of, in the, the context exists in the sense that, like, those words have, you know, meanings and rich histories to them that clearly the AI takes something from them, right? No, it does not. So Come on, don't, you don't, don't think lie the to AI me. Are, no, it's not. Think, it's searching for specific tags. The, the, there yeah. is, okay, if I was to tell you, okay, hold on. If I was to say the word war to you, Mm -hmm. I, I imagine that if you sat and just thought on the word war, let's say we did like a, a Buddhist style like meditation, you sit down and think about the word war for one hour, you would come up with like like an incomprehensible amount of connections. Um, like, and, and, and those amount of connections are, are like, it's almost unfathomable. If you sit and think on a topic like that, but an AI is not doing that. An AI will find other things that have been tagged for it as war. And that is all that it can do. It can find those references. It can't think about, well, are we talking about the effects of war? Are we talking about the feeling that war can bring upon us? Are we talking about um, the way that, that, that war can change the world? No, they are looking for images. It is an image and nothing more. It can only produce a simulacra. And when I say a simulacra, I mean that. It can only produce an image and it cannot understand what that image may evoke. It can only yes or no respond. Do you like the image of war that I have presented for you? Yes, no, throw that one away. Yes, no, throw that one away. That's all it can do. When I talk to you, an agent, a thinking mind about war, you can make connections to all kinds of things. I mean, hell, by the end of your, by the end of your one hour in thinking about war, you might have, you might have, you might be thinking about something completely different by the end of that, but that nonetheless has a line of connection, a line of context that is important for how you thought about that thing. That does not happen in a machine. Well, it doesn't happen in a machine, but I, I'm not, first of all, I'm not trying to say that the machine is the artist. I, I said that earlier. I think you That's are fine. the artist if you're directing the machine in a certain way. But also, I don't know that I, I don't just think I agree that machines or AI can't um, make connections further than what you feed it because i think that that's kind of been the trend in artificial intelligence at least recently is to be able to do just that where you train it on a specific kind of thing and then from that it's able to infer further um conclusions you know this is right, why but it can um, only do that by parasitizing off of us it can only borrow from us. We are the only thing that can give it tags because it isn't a it isn't a being with senses. It isn't a being with original thought at all. And while you can make the sort of extreme argument that like humans are ultimately extremely complex machines, uh, good luck ever plotting out like the 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 process of human cognition because it varies so much from individual to individual that it's it's. And, and it's so internally complex that I don't even think we're, com we're talking about comparable things. What you have with these AI algorithms is searching for tags, tags that we give it. Only what we infuse, only what creativity we infuse it with. We make, we are imposing those connections. And what that also means, by the way, is that every person who uses those algorithms is limited by, uh, is limited by whoever created the algorithm, whoever told the algorithm to, to look at things in this specific way. It means that all art produced by that is ultimately not determined by you, but is determined by whoever programmed the algorithm. So that's another aspect that we could, uh, that we could talk to, uh, we could, we could go into about this as well. Well, um, I agree. Of, I don't. I don't disagree with it. anything you're saying here. That like all of these different things influence AI art. That um, you know, it, it it requires a lot of the like it's built off of the subjective associations that whoever programmed it put into it. That you know, like humans have direct influences over the AI. It's not just like impartial, and that it's not a human. But I I feel like all of that lends credence to the idea that it's an art of a kind because you know if it has all these human elements to it, if it requires that uh, human input 
if, if it's requiring human input at all, it seems to me like that is what art is. Uh, sorry, I kind of lost you a little bit. Sorry. Um, yeah, so I, uh, no, I it's think okay, it's that... Okay. Uh, here, let me just try something else. Okay, when yeah. you look in the mirror, you know that's not you in the mirror, right? You know it's a reflection of you, correct? Even though, you know, it's high definition, it looks realistic, and you might even find... Well, let's say, let's not be narcissistic about it. Let's say you and your girlfriend or boyfriend are standing, or they friend, are standing in the, in the mirror, and you look at their reflection, you go, wow, that's beautiful. But you can recognize that even though that mirror is replicating them, it's not them. It's something different. It's a simulacra. It's an image of them. This is the same way that art, that, that AI art operates. It can only produce a reflection. And in what we digest of it, barring certain contexts, like I said, obviously, if you post on Twitter and you say, here's all the things I plugged into it, you can tell a story about how you created the AI art, and that does incorporate it into some sort of an artistic endeavor, even if I think that's kind of a impoverished artistic endeavor, whatever, it's still one. Uh, but the image itself, is not and even i don't know that mm -hmm. that you are an artist just for uh being able to like to to like i don't know just for being able to command a uh a a machine a tagging machine to find the correct tag any more than you would be for being really good at searching on google do you think somebody who's really good at google searching things is an artist um i would say that they're skilled at something but i would say that everything That's... they do is art like I, I, I have a very permissive definition of art, but I, I want to, I want to hold on. I want to hit on something specific that you're talking about. So sure, sure. Uh, you, you're making the, you made it the analogy to the mirror that when you look at the mirror and you see somebody in the mirror, you know that that's not them, like because that's that's not it, it's not them, right? It's just an image of them. But I don't think that art is anything more than the image. Like I don't think art uh, physically exists. Mm. Art exists in your mind. That's it. Like there, there, like there are art objects. There, there are objects that like it, art inhabits. But that's not what the art is. The art is your engagement with the thing. Like I don't think the disc is like oh, the I disc. Don't, I don't the, agree with you. Okay, so do you think the yeah. disc that the Lord of the Rings movies come on is that the art, or is the movie the art, the image, the sensory perception? Is that the art? Uh, I think it's neither of those things. I think okay, the, I think is? that art is. Art is, I don't think that, uh, okay, so some people have a have a view of art where art is all projection. Personally, I don't buy into that. I don't think that art should be or is all all perception. What I, what that, and that, now some may see, may say like, isn't this like an anti-death of the art, of the author position? Uh, and yes, it is an anti-death of the author position to a certain degree, which is to say that I actually think that, that, that the origin of art is is deeply important. And I think that most people who enjoy, enjoy art to a deep degree and most people who make art recognize that the origin of art is incredibly important. Um, so I don't think that, uh, like, I don't think that, I think that a DVD is a copy of a piece of art that is how you view it. It is basically like a DVD could be, uh, could be seen as equivalent to like opera glasses. You know, like those little things that let you see so that if you're sitting in the nosebleeds, you can still see what's happening on the stage. That's basically what a DVD is. A DVD is just a medium that allows that allows a constructed piece of art to be replayed and viewed elsewhere. It's not the art itself, but the so, art. So then where the is art, the art? Hold, hold on a second. The art, it doesn't exist only in the projection unless you are like, I guess if you are like a hardcore, like uh, what's the word? Um, solipsist, then I guess you could make the argument, but I don't think so. I think that art exists in the conflux. It is an emergent trait that comes from the conflux of social aspects, of intention, and of uh, and of like emotional projection. So I think art truly arrives when somebody sets out to make something and someone else sees that thing and digests that thing and is able to take something from it. Um, even if they're, and, and, and I think that this definition uh, works for uh, works very well for nearly every circumstance. Even art, even art where um, like that is like lost to time and then refound. Like for example, uh, some people like there's meme arts, like the, it's not even memes, but like hog pot and hedgehog, uh, like the hedgehog cart or dog, dog toy or whatever, where they're like these, like uh, the hog pot is like an Etruscan like vessel that was like found and nobody knows who made it, but we know somebody made it and we can see the marks of that person that made it and used it. And it's, and 
we are engaging with that. So we know that somebody used, made this thing. We may not know exactly what they made it for. They might have used it for oil or soap instead of water, but we know they used it for something. We know there was something there and we are reaching out and across time and space making a, uh, a I would argue, almost spiritual connection. And I am not like a, you know, I don't really, I'm, I'm an atheist. I don't really believe in like that actually, like, like that there's a, a, a magical spiritual force, but nonetheless, that is a thing that exists. That connection can exist. And it's not just projection because there is an attempt to understand another human in that process, AKA the social aspect. So, you know, uh, yeah, I just don't think that art is, is purely projection. Um, otherwise, looking at a blank wall is also an artistic experience as long as you've taken enough drugs. I, I think that looking at a blank wall is an artistic experience. Like as right, long then. as it was by from human, as long as it was from an agent, then I would say that it's art. Like I, I would, I, again, my definition of art is incredibly permissive, permissive here, but well, that's you know, fine. I, I just I think don't the agree with that level. Having, a... I think the conversation we're having right now is art as well. Um, I do too, but that's because I spent my entire, I mean, but like, if you look at, at what I, the conversation that I had now, I mean, not only am I sitting on a stage that contains other pieces of art that I chose and put in position, whether it's the little bumblebees that my, my little sisters made for me, or the art that I found very compelling and purchased, or the dragon that was found for me on a journey by my, by my little critters. All of these things have meaning and value. And somebody can ask me, hey, where did those little cute bees come from? And I can tell them that story. And my set, I made myself, me and my partner hung up these lights and, and this overlay was made by somebody. So I would agree, this is an artistic experience because I made it into one. Okay, but why, it seems to me that AI art is still that too. Like if I don't I'm, think so. Why not? Like, I, what, because, what is it? So if you, you say it's lacking context, why isn't me just telling you what words I put in sufficient context? Oh, I mean, I think it is context. I just think that it barely qualifies. And to, so for me, it's such a small amount of context saying like, I type these words into a text box and then I pressed enter and then I did it again. Uh, that is not an interesting, like it is, it is a, like I said, uh, I don't know if you were here for the in initial port of the portion of this con uh, conversation, but what I said is that to me, that doesn't cross the line into art. That could be at best like a, a very basic, like a, wow, that's interesting, but it doesn't cross into the line of art where I think art is something more. I don't think there's enough context there for that to count as a genuinely artistic experience. To me, that is just a very basic explanation of what you did. It would be like if, um, if like the only thing that you could know about like a piece of art, if like you asked an artist, like, okay, the equivalent would be like, if you asked a painter and you said, so what drove you, what drove you to make this art? And then they said, well, first I moved my hand up and then I moved my hand down and then I moved my hand up and then I moved my hand down. And they just told you every step of what they did to make that art. That wouldn't be very helpful, would it? While it is technically con context, it's such an impoverished form of context that I can hardly consider it, uh, you know, meaningful. Sure, but I could, I could like make my my story of typing in the the words a lot more um, like interesting if I yeah. went into like. So like maybe I say but that you know, would be art. I... You would be telling a story. That would be art. Okay, you telling then... a story would be art. But the thing that you produced, that not the, not even you produced, the thing that the machine spat back out at you would not in and of itself be art. Why not? If the if the if what you're saying is that it having this context to it, this story behind it, this is what makes something art, or is at least uh, necessary for it to be art, then why why does my story about how i created it not count like why doesn't that count anymore just because like it cuz you talk about how a painter just saying oh i moved my brush here 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 and here it doesn't like get you into the mindset but of course not. i could talk about like why i used certain words the way that sure. i did like mm -hmm. um you know society tends to categorize things this way so i first tried this word but then mm -hmm. you know i thought like what what kind of AI, like what, what would a tech bro categorize the thing I want as? 
And how do I make the AI go and call that thing that I want? And then I used this word and, you know, mm. it came to be that I got uh, the image that I wanted or whatever. Like, I mean, that, that okay, is... but okay. So I'll, I want to address that. But first I want to mm. say one thing, which is that doesn't it seem, doesn't it seem like, like you're, you're, don't you see what I'm getting at when you say that like what you have to do in order to even create anything with this AI is imagine what a tech bro would imagine? <laughs> like like you're, I, you're 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 admitting openly right now like as a part of your argument you're admitting that you ha you are accepting an incredible emo uh, mental shackle in order to even produce anything with this. It's like being like uh, it's like if you limited yourself to only being able to create art with with like origami made out of McDonald's wrappers. Yeah, like, but a lot of people do that. I'm sure, but like, do you really think that that qual? Do you really think that like like explaining the way that you typed into the Tech Bros image generation machine is like the same thing as? Do you really feel like that's the same as like uh, somebody explaining their creative process? Like, I mean, I to how I they reach a point. I, I don't. Think I don't easy. think it does. I think it's easier to understand, and I think it's easier to do. But in terms of like, it, it's a difference of scale and not of type, is what I would say. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, does does that make maybe. sense? Yeah, I just, I just, uh, to me, it's like you, you're talking about an extreme that is such that I, I, it doesn't, uh, it's within my, it's within my margin of error, if that makes sense. Uh, I, I, while I, guess, I, I but... recognize, like, I don't, I don't believe that art is objective. It's just, this is my definition of art. And I think I have a compelling argument for it. And I think that you can define whatever you want as art. I mean, lots of people consider things art that I, you know, probably don't consider or actually, I don't know. I, I, I generally am, am relatively permissive. I just think that like AI art pushes, like pushes that. Um, so, wait, hold on, I want to distinguish ways, yeah. between two things. Because like when sure. we say something like art is subjective, what I mean by art, when I say art is subjective, what I mean is like what art is good and bad is subjective, right? But when we're talking about like concepts, like what it, does it mean for something to be art? Do you also okay. think that that is subjective? Like what it means to be art? Yes, and, I, I think okay. it's absolutely subjective. It has to be. Okay. There's no so other, then, everything is subjective because we are- okay. Yeah. So, so then I, I would I would agree in this I would agree that art is subjective in the sense that all concepts are subjective. But you know, I, I would think that is it not useful to try and find an intersubjectively agreed upon concept of art? Uh it can be. Sure. Okay. It so, can be. I don't think and, that I don't think it'll ever happen. Like I mean I don't I don't have an expectation of a universality. Uh like uh, I, I think that most uh, most pursuits of universality are a distraction. Um, what I mean by that is to say that when mo most of the time when people are seeking a universality, they are seeking a method of control um, and not like a uh, not like an actual like um, synthesis. Uh, so I don't know if it's always useful to find um, to, to to do that. I think it can be. Uh, depends on the person, probably. Um, oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Hold on. Um, so you don't think it's useful to to find like a, a a definition of art that like encapsulates all the things we find that we think are art, but excludes those ones. Okay. I mean, I, I can I see think that it can because be, I think it could be. Yeah, it could be helpful in some contexts. It really depends on what you're trying to do. To me, I don't really find it all that helpful. Uh, I have a sort of working definition of what I consider art, and I think it's relatively well, uh, you know, substantiated, and I can make a good argument for it. But I recognize that at the end of the day, people might think differently, and that's okay. okay. I will just disagree with them. Do you feel like your your aversion to calling it art has to do with your not liking it? Like, how do I explain this? Like, I, I feel like y you have a you have a dislike for AI art for, um, I'm sure a lot of reasons, right? You, you said it, you don't feel like it has soul. You feel like it's, um, it's like stealing without permission, that kind of stuff, right? I mean, it is. Yeah. I would yeah, argue so that that's that, that is like an objective argument. I think that it is st that, that most of the AI algorithms do just objectively steal, uh, with, without like as objective as you can get, they do steal. Uh, but I, that's I like a, that's separate than most of my argument. I try to keep those two separate because they are two separate arguments. But 
Um, well, okay, but I don't, I, like... I don't know if they are so separate because it feels like your dislike of that is influencing why you don't consider it art to begin with. Oh, maybe. I mean, I don't know about that. Like, I there are things I don't like about AI art, but I've seen AI art that I think is quite funny uh, and quite good. Uh, I mean, uh, fuck my my own my own partner, who is an incredibly talented artist, uh, uh, was goofing around with. Uh, the AI art stuff for for like a month and a half, and I found a and I like I found a lot of that really funny and and kind of cool. I just don't generally think that it rises to what I consider art. And the reason why that's the case is because I I personally think that there is value in in challenging people, uh, uh, in, in challenging people to make deeper and better art, to think about things more deeply, and to not be satisfied with just typing in a prompt into a computer and having an image sorting algorithm produce a amalgamation of pre-existing images like i don't i don't think that that's i don't think that's a very valuable thing i think it's a i think it's like a emotionally and you could even go so far as to say i hesitate to use the word spiritually but as far as i can a spiritually impoverished experience that would be you would find yourself happier and better served by other art and i would be happier because uh, as well because the world would contain more better art okay yeah. so the all right the i guess the problem i'm having here is that you want to say that you know there's something special about uh ai not ai art sorry um you know art that isn't made by ai that there's yes. like some spiritual soulful aspect to it right um, uh, yeah as close as we can get while while still speaking materially materially yeah, I, when, I, when, I when i say spiritual, spiritual i don't literally mean yes, i don't literally I mean like a magical spirit i mean that like i'm talking about an emergent quality a quality that we can say that like when 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 the sum is greater than the whole of its parts and i do think that arises cool. when we have cool. the crux of these things that doesn't happen with AI, but yes okay so the problem is is that if if real art uh, in your opinion is like that special that it has that quality to it then yes. what exactly is ai art in danger how is how is it in danger of being replaced by ai art well oh i i was talking about this when i was I, I don't know if you've been watching this whole segment i talked about I've been, this already I've, but I so can... i watched the debate that you had before with uh sure, the other sure. person that's with it. rapti yeah um yeah. okay so let me let me address this so first of all i don't my uh, uh, description, my initial like takes on this have nothing to really do with the danger of AI art. Personally, okay. I am not threatened by like AI art in the slightest uh, because like it just it, like I, I just don't think it's compelling. I don't think it's I think most people don't find it compelling. So I'm quite confident in that. What the the the, the concern case and there is one uh, area where I do think there is some danger to a uh, AI art. Um, which is what I uh, sort of explained to Rapti a little bit and also talked about a little bit earlier. I'll explain it again here, which is the idea that uh, the, uh, the, the art that, that is, is uh, invisible to us when we talk about art, uh, the stickers that are highly personalized, the, the shirts that we buy of artists that we like, the prints, the, all these types of things, these little pieces of art that we buy um, because they're meaningful to us, because they provoke something in us, they make us think. Um, that I think that those small pieces of art, th which, which by the way, those are the things that keep a lot of artists creating, so they can create small projects, large and small. But these these uh, smaller pieces of art that coat our world, that make our world tolerable in any way, um, are going to be. Uh, I do think that there is a risk of them essentially being cho choked out. Uh, that uh, large corporations with, uh, you know. Uh, AIs that have been trained up via crowdsourcing and via literally just stealing and copying from other artists will be able to produce uh, small pieces of art um, that uh, are satisfying enough uh, for the time being. And I don't think it will last forever. I do think that people would grow very tired of it. For example, Funko Pops, right? Like Funko Pops are a great example. Uh, like, you know, uh, they, they pop out 
they come out and they're really popular and they boom and every store has them and now every single store on the planet has a hundred thousand Funko Pops rotting in its in its warehouse uh, and they're going to inevitably become landfill trash um, and that's because while it was interesting and cute and fun and it touched on those like fandom aspects the the nostalgia and the whatever um, it, it it doesn't last it's not a lasting art it's very wasteful. Uh, and it makes people a lot of money in the short term, but it doesn't last. But what we could, what I believe is possible is with uh, the way that uh, art is controlled by such highly centralized, massive corporations with the power of AI, I think that they could basically choke out all of the actual artists who are actually creating things for long enough that we end up with a, a, a society that is completely bereft of any meaningful art. Now, do I think this is likely to last forever? No, but I think it would be very unpleasant to go through, and I certainly don't want to live through like the baby Yodification, Funko Popification of every aspect of our lives, because that to me sounds like a nightmare world that I would rather like, uh, I don't know, commit seppuku live on TV than live through. Okay, so I, I, so for one, I feel like this is a capitalism problem and not an AI art problem. Like kind of like how, you know, automation is great, but capitalists will use it to uh to like put people out of a job and you know, you just get unemployment or whatever. Like it, it's made bad by the conditions that we are, exist in and not because of anything that's inherent within the thing itself. Uh so that's yeah, one Yeah. But so that's, that's, I think that wait, can be true can for I, a lot. Can of I keep yeah. going, please? Sure, sure, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So that that was one thing I wanted to touch on. And for another thing is that, like, I think what you're talking about then, just uh, with respect to AI art, like not being able to create the kinds of things that uh, it, it doesn't have like the same soul. It's just like an approximation of what it of what other art is getting at. Um, I think that. Maybe that's just because people are trying to do something with it as a medium that it's not equipped to do uh, in the same way that sometimes you play a video game or like you play a video game that like doesn't really warrant being a video game, if that makes sense. Or yeah. you watch a movie and you're like, wow, this would be so much better as a different medium, right? Mm -hmm. Like, does and the thing is, is that I, I'm not convinced that, like, th there are things about AI art that, uh, you know, that are good for it as a medium. And maybe, like, artists, like, as AI art continues to be a thing, they will start to turn towards the things that AI art is good at and not the things that AI art is bad at. Uh, I have yeah. an example of this. So, like, sure. I, I'm sure that you've seen this image go around before. Uh, as far as I know, like the, all this is, is that it's somebody put a bunch of images into Art Breeder. Uh, I, I sent it to you on uh, Discord. Oh, okay. um, yeah. Have you seen this image before? Uh, yeah, the, this is yeah. I've seen this one with the hole in the head. Yeah, exactly. And it's specifically like usually what it's captioned with is name one thing in this photo, uh, and. The, the reason being that, you know, all of the things in it look pretty recognizable, but it, to get, it, it doesn't seem like you can exactly pin down what any of that is. And there's a lot of misinformation around this photo. As far as I know, it was just somebody screwing around an art breeder. But I think it made a compelling piece of art, nonetheless, because the idea of looking at something where everything seems so familiar, yet you can't identify any of it, any of it that's like really, that's really compelling stuff that is... I don't know that that would be much harder to do if you were trying to work with um, more conventional tools. No, like it, no. I actually and this think is, this would be. I think this would probably be easier and cheaper to produce uh, if you set if you asked a, an actual artist. And also, what the result would be significantly more compelling. Great example of this: Salvador Dali. Salvador Dali did art that produces a sign even a. a I would argue produces a significantly more uh, uh, acute and accurate version of what you're expressing here, which is that a world that looks wrong. Uh, I don't find this thing amazingly compelling. I look at this and I go, huh, huh, that's weird. And that's about, okay. that's about all I have. But I look at a piece by Salvador Dali and I go, Oh my God, like this is like, this is like the, the, this is a, 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 a piece infused with meaning. And I may not even be able to parse all of it because it's deliberately playing with me. 
But that is that is all the more interesting that I am being played with by an artist, an artist who is messing with my perception and is messing with their own perception. Whereas this is a, a roll of the dice. Somebody threw some shit into a ge image generator and it made something that looked kind of weird. I don't find that that compelling. Okay. Well, I, I, I don't really have like a response to that other than like, Maybe this was just a bad example or a bad example to convince you. My only Maybe. point is that my only point is that um there are things that AI art is better at doing and things that it's worse at doing. So maybe well, the problem with AI art right now is just people haven't discovered what it's good at doing. And if they find things that it's good at doing that maybe other mediums aren't great at doing, then it'll go in a different direction and maybe. um be better. I guess, Maybe or we'll. better for your, um, by your standard, right? I mean, I, I think that there are interesting applications for like AI generation. So for example, um, and I, and I, and this is something that I've, I've stuck by throughout this conversation is that I do believe that AI generated images can be a part of a greater work that I would categorize as art. Um, like for example, if you had, uh, like for example, here's a, here's an example that's I think only loosely parallel, but nonetheless important. I like mm -hmm. games that are roguelikes. Roguelikes have a lot of uh, algorithmic elements. They have things that are set into motion, and then the game runs a machine and generates things that are surprising and interesting within a controlled scope. Now, lots of games are uh, contain roguelike elements. Tons of them do. In fact, that's one of the most popular like genres right now. And I think most, I think all of them, even the worst ones, are very artistic. Um, but I don't know that just the generation, like if I was to take just a path generated in Slay the Spire by their algorithm and just look at the path, is that in and of itself art or is that just sort of something that the art can be applied to like a, a skeleton? And that's kind of the way that I look at it. AI art can certainly be applied to other things to make it part of a bigger piece. I just don't think it stands on its own two legs. I think it's too empty, so, especially in this I mean, current they, form. There, there is actually like a parallel to this. Like, um, it, it's uh, I don't. How much Minecraft have you played? Quite uh, a lot. I, okay, so do you remember back when they had uh, custom generated terrain? Uh, uh it, yeah, I don't know exactly. I don't. I'm not as like up on the technical side okay. of it. I don't know. But so yeah, it used to be that there was a world type where. Uh, you could basically mess with all the levels, basically. So it, there were a bunch of parameters uh, for world generation, and you could screw around with them. Um, you know, I, I understand what you're saying, but like, I'm perfectly happy to say that like a world, a, a Minecraft world being generated is art, especially if you are, you know, actively going into the parameters and adjusting them until you get a result that you want. Like, I don't, I don't see what the problem with that, with calling I that mean... art, would be. Uh, I, 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 maybe, I, I don't know. I, I guess like if it's just so, so if you were just to, uh, sort of look at, at the map of a randomly spawned world, uh, that somebody spawned using a world generation and you were just to look at the map of that, would that in and of itself qualify as art to you? To me, uh it would be like, what would be art? you know, in my mind would be what the person, you know, the person generates the canvas and then they do something with it. Or maybe they, I don't know, managed, to, I don't know. I just, I, to me, I, I feel like we're pushing the definitions when we say that just like, just the generation of the Minecraft world an untouched Minecraft world, uh, maybe that is art. If it's art, I find it to be incredibly uncompelling. I don't find like, just the raw generation of a computer to be a compelling type of art, even right. if somebody did sort of pull the levers in the right direction. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there is, uh, you know, I I'd be willing well, to say I that, don't like, think to some degree, wrong for not finding it compelling. Like that's up to you. Yeah, I, it's it's. It, th there was something I discussed earlier in this stream, which was uh, the trail cam example, which is like, if you put out a trail cam. You are setting, you are deciding where the trail cam is, but um, the trail cam takes pictures on an automated level. Any motion or whatever you 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 know curtail it to, it takes that picture and uh, and then and then you sift through and you select the the cute photo of the deer that it happened to get by chance. The the photo reel is not art in and of itself. 
but perhaps the ones that you select and how you present them could be art. And I guess you could argue that to some degree with AI art, what you select from those examples and how you present what you select could itself be the larger part of art. But again, I keep coming back to this position where the the images produced by the AI itself is not the art. What is the art is what is done with those images. And I don't think that's true for many other things. Like I said, Hogpot is, is, it is a vessel that is shaped like a pig and we know another human made it. We know another human made it with purpose. We are, gain we are given insight into their life. We can reflect on that. There's a social element, there's an intent, and there's context. And so as a result, it can produce an artistic experience that uh, I don't know that is present in simply bearing witness to a randomly generated Minecraft world or a randomly generated image. Uh, okay. Does that, does that make sense? I, I think that I can accept that position because uh, I, I, I don't really have a whole lot more to say than I have already. Okay. Uh, I think that what it comes down to is that uh, I have more of a permissive definition of art and also I like you also don't find AI art all that compelling. Uh, does that seem to summarize what's uh, what's happened with uh, this this back and forth? Yeah, uh, I think that's relatively fair. Uh, I don't find AI art all that compelling. I find some examples of it relatively compelling, but uh, the, in exploring the reasons why I don't find it compelling, uh, the there you know a lot of questions were asked. Uh, uh, you know, that I, in my mind, I went through a lot of things. I said, okay, so what is it that, what is it about this type of art that I find uncompelling? And the answer was always that it lacks in a number of things that I generally consider important for art. When I'm assessing other forms of art, when I'm enjoying them, I don't find those present for the most part. Or if they are present, they are present in such a diminished sense that I hardly consider it uh, fair. You know, I don't, I don't consider it like, they're, they're there in trace elements only. And uh, yeah, so I guess that's pretty accurate. Again, I don't think there's like a big moral issue at play here. Uh, I get angry when people's responses are fucking stupid and they say dumb things. And then I tell them that I really, really wish that people would raise the bar for what they find acceptable uh, and also give money to artists as opposed to just like goofing around with, uh, I don't know, tools made by tech bros. But, um, but you know, whatever. At the end of the day, this is a conversation about art. And it is, uh, you know, it's highly subjective. So, yeah. I, I can accept that. Uh, thank you for having me on. Uh, it Absolutely. Was nice. It was a great conversation. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, I, uh, one, one question. Do you mind if, oh, sure. I, if I, it, I, I have a YouTube channel? Would you mind if I clipped this out and, like, put it oh, up on my YouTube please. channel? Please. No, go ahead. That's totally fine. All right, cool. Uh, uh, I get the feeling that this uh, that that you're a significantly better faith interlocutor than the most most people who clip me. But you absolutely right. always have my permission. You came on my show, so yeah, go ahead. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, All that's right. it. Uh, yeah, no problem. Uh, well, uh, thanks for coming on, and have a great day. Mm -hmm. You too. Mm, bye for now. Well, that was a uh, that was a great conversation, even though we didn't agree on everything. Um, that was a, a really really interesting conversation, actually. I think we made progress, and uh, I quite liked it. Um, yeah, that wasn't bad at all, actually. That was um, pretty impressive.